welcome back to Newt Plays Fallout 4. This is our 20th episode, so we are going to continue on our quest towards Backstreet Apparel. We're going to clear out some raiders for the folks at Oberlin Station, and then have a nap. And fire Z-missiles! Oh, something's going a little funky over there. But, let's drive on towards our goals. Kind of Chestnut Hillock Reservoir, okay. Kind of curious as to what the uh, vertebrates are doing around here, but. I don't know, let's not waste any time on this. Let's see. You got two vertebrates circling this area. I haven't seen any uh, real reason for concern. There's no real high tech stuff here that they usually tend towards, the Brotherhood being the guys who kind of try and have a stranglehold on technology. Hey, we got somebody walking around in power armor. What's he got to say? What up, bro? If you aren't Brotherhood, you're nothing. Lady bro? Rude? Okay, maybe they found something. I'm going to let them deal with it, you know. Brotherhood can deal with brotherhood matters. I got my own problems. Well, I got my own problems and, like, settlement problems. The life of the Minutemen. Oh, gee. Alright, so... Again, I really like the, uh... Despite the idea that everything is still trashed. I, I really like the uh, design of the city here. It's not uh, completely linear. You've got terrain features that make for obvious you know, locales. Uh, obvious, you're going here first, you're going here second, and it's based logically around the way the city's built. Not just the standard RPG tropes of here is your desert, here is your fire palace, here is your ice palace, etc. Hey, a lunchbox. Oh, we eat bubblegum. Anytime you see an open trailer, there's guaranteed to be something inside it 90% of the time. Ooh. Okay, that sounds like a... Uh, oh, that is definitely Raiders over there. Yep. I wonder if the vertebrate is going to distract them from my approach. Oh, there they are. Okay. Taste justice, miscreant. Ooh. I know I'm not playing the shroud right now, but... Oh! Ah! Stop shooting dog meat, asshole! Stop shooting me, asshole! You know, forget raiders. I'm just going to call them assholes from here on out. Asshole scum. Asshole psycho. Kind of works. Where'd that asshole fall? Alright. And we're right in front of Pipe. Backstreet Apparel, that's it. Pike Street, where did that come from? Not sure. Okay. Anyway. That was a good one. Hey. You have any more stories like that? <laughs> oh, shit, they saw me right off the bat. What the hell? I'll keep it good. Grenades everywhere, holy crap! Hit 
Wow. They're sure uh, grenade happy. Ooh, a legendary raider. Now, see, again, here's something where the mechanics make no sense. They know I'm here. There is absolutely no reason they should be willing to stop no sign of coming them. after me. I got it. I got it. Jesus. Why are you always in such a bad mood? You're still alive, ain't ya? You should be thanking me instead of bitching all the time. Enough yapping already. Somebody could be sneaking up on us right now. Yes, that is the idea. Okay, we are going to sneak around here. These doors are closed, but... Aha. Let's clear this out. What in the hell? Is he carrying a spear? And whoever's around that corner isn't going to come around at me? Fine, we'll do this my way. That worked. Dang, that was pretty quick. But there was a legendary raider around here somewhere, and I want to find them. Cause oh, it's a sharp pool cue. Okay. Disappearing act, huh? Yeah, huh? Cause legendaries have cool shit, and I kind of want that. So let's go up top and hunt that guy down. Show your face. Come on, I cherish it. You know, the way it's set up for these, you can take out one important raider, and it treats the place as cleared. Okay, can I throw this through here? I hope so. What the yes. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Now, when it says they've mutated, that means they get all their hit points back and become stronger. That's something that legendaries do. Oh. Okay. What do we get off of Hunter's Raider right leg. Useless. Sometimes you get good stuff. Sometimes it's crap. This time, it was crap. But do they have anything else worth looting in here? Because that's how we roll. Me and dog meat, we're cleaning up this town. Now, it's funny, I think this is the first game that hasn't tried to make me sheriff of anything yet. That also seems to be Fallout. Uh, the majority of the games are Sweet. set on the West Coast, uh, based off the original Wasteland game, which was kind of set around uh, Northern California, Virginia, not Virginia, Northern California, Nevada, and the surrounding areas. Uh, Fallout 1 and 2 were California and a little bit of Nevada. I don't think they went into New Mexico at all. But it wasn't until 3, well, technically, I think Fallout Tactics was in the Midwest for part of it. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. Uh, yeah, sure it will. Oh, shit! <laughs> that was a bad idea. Hopefully it saved when we went onto the roof. Okay, note to self, we can't jump that far. Okay, good. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, 
it wasn't until Fallout 3 that we left the California West Coast area. And when you're there, it kind of has a, uh, a real Old West-ish feel to it because you've got that kind of terrain. You think American Desert, that's the Old West. That's kind of its shtick. So... You kind of, it, it, it makes sense to have kind of the lawless frontier going on there. Whoa! They've got a big firefight. Let's go see what it is. All right, who are the Brotherhood fighting up here? Please tell me it's not just a pack of dogs. Dog meat found an enemy. Sure he did. Oh, gunners. If they're fighting the gunners, I'm in. I do hate those guys. There are bad dudes below me. Okay, it's just raiders, but... Wow, they've got a lot of explosives down there. Oh. Who's shooting at me? Jerks? Why you gotta be like that? Raiders always got to be such assholes. Oh god, he's in power armor. Ha <laughs> Oh! And of course, one last dude throwing shit at me. Oop. All right, we've got a. Uh... Let's see what power armor stuff I can take off this guy. They're always really cool to grab stuff from. A raider helmet and a raider leg and a raider power two torso. That's not terrible. I'll take some of his stuff and uh, submachine gun. I'm just kind of looting to loot here before. Ooh. Before I head back to Oberlin Station and report my success. That's it. Now again, one of the cool things we can do because we have the Aqua Boy perk is just go, screw the roads! We're going to take the river back. And here's an interesting thing. Note our speed. We swim fast. I don't know if that's a design glitch or what, but when you're swimming faster than someone can walk, or run even... Uh, that's a pretty interesting design decision. I guess it was originally because the water would irradiate you and they wanted to facilitate faster travel through it. But that makes the, uh, the Aqua Boy perk so useful. Especially when you get to level 2 of it and uh, hiding in the water makes you literally disappear. So you can pretty much be Lord of the River at that point. As for here, I assume I've had my tetanus shots, otherwise, ugh, any wound's going to get infected. That would be an interesting mechanic to uh, drop into the game, the idea of having to treat wounds in a sanitary environment. Uh, if there are any games out there that incorporate a mechanic on that, please let me know. That's always something I found kind of interesting. Uh, realistic survival. Oh, this guy has a bad day. That's terrible. Oh, you poor guy. Why don't you have a fusion core with you? What the hell? They will have the weirdest things out here. 
So yeah, uh, we saved your city. Settlement thing. Uh, hi there. You gonna say hello? Did you have any luck with those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. And by the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. Good for I you. Think it's worth giving it another chance. Okay. They've got no defense here, so... Can I build anything for them? I can build two machine gun turrets. Alright. We're going to do that. Oh. It said I could build two. Where's the other one? I don't want to tear down their walls here, but... Oh, I placed it right on the other side here. Well, that's fine placement for it. Okay. They've got enough uh, defense. Let's go talk to Purston Gravy and... Uh, turn in this quest for some XP. And when we get back, we'll determine what we're going to put our perk in. Oh, hello you. You don't seem to be immediately hostile. Back off. This is mine. Okay, all yours, dude. Not gonna fight you for it. In fact, I'm just gonna go for a swim. I'm gonna go ahead and avoid those uh, rad stags because I know dog meat will try and attack them because my dog is a spaz. Uh, something else for this playthrough. I've 20 uh, episodes now. Dogmeat has been my sole companion. Even though I've taken one level of the Lone Wanderer perk, and it works best alone or with Dogmeat, is there any companion people would like to see me adventure with? Uh, I kind of get a lot of monologuing to myself here. Dogmeat is not a great conversationalist. So, so far we have uh, Nick, Piper, and Preston available. If anybody would like to see me uh, go adventuring with one of them, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. Or if you want me to go uh, pursue one of the others to go adventuring with, uh, I can do that too. Just, uh, yeah, drop me a line. I'll see what can be done for that. But for the time being, let's go turn in our quest. Yes, I've leveled up. I'm waiting until I get back to Sanctuary to do something about it. Don't rush me, man. Game's got to understand, I'm a free spirit. Oh, there's another vertebrate. Good lord, the Brotherhood are everywhere. I almost don't recall them being this ubiquitous. And, oh boy, that's got to be a raider up there. Let's avoid that, shall we? Dog meat, don't get us spotted. Oh, hold on, did I find a... Is this a cave? Oh, oh, dogs! <laughs> sure, dog, me give the angry bark now. Ooh. Dog helmet? Hey, dog me, you wanna wear a helmet? Hey. That's kind of ridiculous. And he wears it over the goggles. Chain collar? No, we're not going to wear. make him wear a chain collar. He's going to hey. wear his uh, bandana, and he's adorable with it. So, that's that. That's a crow or something. All right. Here I was. I thought we found, like, a secret cave with some loot or something, and it turns out to just be angry mutts. Let huh? down. Oh, who's humming? No one looks hostile. Oh. 
Hello, you have a lot of cats and a doghouse. I cannot pet the cats. Hey, Scava. Let's trade. Hear anything lately? Yeah, nothing you'd be interested in. Now I got merchandise to move here, if you're still buying. Alright, sure. What look. do you have? Sure. Uh, nothing much weapon-wise. Adam cat jacket and jeans. No, I like dressing up as the Silver Shroud. Oh! Oh, no, that is terrible. We're not doing any business with you, you cat farming freak. Ugh. That's just wrong. He says as he's been eating cooked wild dogs. But cats are just... No. They're too small and stringy. Oh, shit. I'm running right up on the radar and... And you saw me. Crap. I should probably try for something that isn't headshots all the time because I'm not very good at them. That's it, dog meat. You hit him high, I'll shoot him in the back. Could have sworn I saw another dude around here. Okay, well, maybe not. Dude, I shot. Where'd he go? Did he vaporize? Can the human body do that? Just vaporize? Oh, here's chunks of him. That's his new name. His name is Chunks. Chunks the Raider. All right. So, we have managed to find Vault 81. Uh, that might be a good place for stopping to trade and... Uh resupply when we're traveling through the wastes here. Now... The fact that bugs explode when you shoot them is just nasty. And... Uh, the fact that I got radiation from that's even nastier. What's in the bus? Cooler with some ramen meat? Sure. We'll cook up some steaks when we get home. I already gave you two teddy bears, dog. You don't need another one. Yes, I know I've leveled up. Stop reminding me. I'm going to do it later. We're going to run on back to Sanctuary, report to Preston, and uh, decide where we're going from here. Again, uh, we've been on this wacky ride for, what, 20 episodes now, and I am going to be up to level 16. Not quite an episode per level, but getting there question for you guys. Uh, how are you liking the playthrough so far? How are you liking the build? Is there anything you'd like to see me doing with Quartermain here? Uh, again, I would like to try and keep him on the straight and narrow, even though there's really no way to do a pacifist playthrough of this game, sadly. Uh, I, I do like hearing about games where that's an option. It's not my usual play style, but I find it interesting. So... Uh, Dishonored, I believe, was the first one I heard about that you can play through completely without killing anybody. And I thought that was just a neat selection of uh, options for something that seemed like an Assassin's Creed knockoff game. And it almost seems like Fallout, you should have that option. But, you know, we don't. So, uh, even though we do have to sometimes... Whoa! Who dragged this naked body out of the river and put it back here? What sicko's doing that? Back in the river with you.
I got HOA regulations to think about. So yeah, I'm not gonna... Quartermain is not gonna be a full-on combat wombat raider wannabe. He's certainly not all special forces badass. Yeah, military veteran, but as we've determined from his strength of one, he was a nerd. Maybe we'll go a little bit further science. Uh, hey, maybe we'll put some points into strength and make him uh, give him some armory perks. Who knows? All right. Well, oh, that's right. Before I do all this, let me uh, report into Gravy, who is working the fields. Is he? Whistling the I Sesame Street more. theme? What now? I'll let you know if I, I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help you to anyone up to that needs it. Garden. You should I go. can only help our call. The whole place is run by robots. Got a strange message from a robot. Okay. Said it was from some place called Grey Garden. What? I couldn't figure out exactly what it wanted, but... Well, may as well check it out. You never know. Okay, well, Grey Garden is an option now, but we've got a lot of things we can do here. Namely among them, leveling up! Alright, here we are. <laughs> Level 15. Now, some of the options we can do here, uh, we can be a better gun designer. Uh, ooh, hold on. Will level 2 let us put a silencer on Shirley here? Yes, it will. But, that reduces our range by a bit. But, since we're using the long distance call for our range, you know, super long range stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's work on our gun nut options. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, uses a 308 to 71 damage. Yeah, again, rifle, that's not going to do much for me. Hair trigger, nope. Combat rifle, sorry. Double barreled shotgun, not really my thing. A machine gun, away with you, and a switchblade. Nah. So let's go ahead and uh, fit a silencer on here so we can work at better uh, sneaking around. We can put a recon scope on here, which I like. Uh, that lets us track some targets. We run out of ammo quite a bit, so let's. Give us a bigger mag. What's this do for us? Hey. Slightly more accurate. It, oh, let's not use up all our adhesive, yeah. And can we do anything more with our... No, we've already got the best receiver on this. Alright, Shirley's uh, looking pretty good for us. What about the long distance call? Ooh. At least it's not raining. I could make it a 50 cal. I could really drop its damage for that. Yeah, you know what? 50 caliber revolver. Booyah. And I am actually going to uh, put the compensator on here because our range is... Uh, Okay, uh, adhesive and crystal. Let's tag for search because I want to put a long recon scope on here. Actually, yeah, we'll get some stuff for it and see if we can uh, upgrade to a recon or a night vision scope. All right, sorry if that was kind of really boring for together, folks. Huh? So, uh, this has been episode huh? 20 of New Plays Fallout 4. Comment below and uh, let me know what we'd like to do next. I will see you when we get back. Thank you very much and have a good one. Mm -hmm.